you are a free moral agent. You can yield to either God or the devil. You are a free what? Moral agent. My you serving the Lord, our Savior, is the only role to comfort and peace. Why serving the devil? Is a sure way to bitterness, pain, and death. I believe that one of the greatest gifts God has given us is the freedom to make decisions the freedom to make what to make decisions you can choose to sleep now as we are talking to you you can choose to stand up you can choose to turn back to me you can choose to turn to me all of us who have fallen made a decision. And all of us who have not fallen face similar temptation. But made a different decision. Similar what? Similar temptation. Temptation to do this, temptation to do that. Temptation to walk out from wrong opportunity, good opportunity, similar temptation, but made a different decision. You can choose to let the one who created you help you. Like I have said, serving the law, our Savior, is the role to comfort and peace while serving the devil is a sure way to bitterness, pain, and death. The wisest decision is what you do with Christ. Tell your neighbor. I can hear you. The wisest decision is what you do with Christ. Colossians 1 verse 15 to 16 is the image of the invisible God. The first bond over all creation. Verse 16. For by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth. Visible, invisible, whether throne or dominion, or principality, or power, or things were created through him and for him. What are we saying here? Jesus created you. Tell your neighbor. I can hear you. I can hear you. Jesus created you. Yes. You can choose to let him help you in all you do. If you rely on the strength of our Savior, 
he will not allow the enemy of your soul to give you more than you can take. Are you with me? Tell your neighbor, if you rely on the strength of our Savior, he will not allow the enemy of your soul to give you more than you can take. He will not allow that. He will not allow the enemy of your soul to give you more than you can take. Yes. He will not allow. The way through your fear of failure now you have the fear of failure fear of sickness fear of this fear of that fear of death fear 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 the way through your fear of failure or the extreme discouragement that comes because you have failed i call it extreme uh, well because of extreme discouragement uh, let him go to the club let him go smoke let him drink they started drinking they started it you see them going to club you say ah what are you doing here oh, forget about that girl the extreme discouragement that comes because you have failed. Turn it around and look at it as a life lesson. Turn it around and look at it as a life lesson. What lesson? What you are going through now. Many successful people in society had once passed through them before they were promoted to the level they are. That is life lesson. Has done it, he will tell you. As David, he will tell you about the weakness. As Meshach, Shadrach, Abednego, they will tell you what they passed through in the furnace. We fight through our failures. And fear. We fight through our failure and what? And fear. By maximizing our forward motion. Remember our warfare is not carnal. That is, we pray the more, fast the more. The situation I'm talking about always prepare true Christian for extraordinary service. You fast the more, you pray the more, you love God the more. We fight through our failure. What is your fear? What is that failure? We fight through our situation by maximizing our forward motion. When discouragement comes, we don't stop. We dig deep and fight it through. 